good to have you on CGTN. In recent years, anti-globalization and trade protectionism have been on the rise, facing uncertainties and challenges. How would China's manufacturing enterprises overcome these difficulties and ride the digitalization wave to achieve global development? And what would that mean for the global economic growth? Great changes have taken place in the pattern of economic globalization in the past few years. Some countries have set many restrictive measures on the export of China's products and on the liberalization of investment and trade. But for China's manufacturing industry, which firmly promote globalization, China's industrial output accounts for 30 percent of the world's total. So China's industrial output should achieve greater value in the global market. We must pay attention to the balanced development of the economies of all countries. While promoting its own business, it can also contribute to local economic development. The method of globalization can provide better opportunities for the development of Chinese enterprises and can boost the development of the global economy. The report of the 20 CPC National Congress proposed that China should stick to the real economy as the focus of its economic development. And high-tech manufacturing has been the driving force for that growth. So what suggestions do you have for boosting the high-quality development of the high-tech manufacturing industry? The development of China's economy has reached a new stage. China's manufacturing industry needs to move from general processing and production to medium-high-end manufacturing so as to achieve more efficient and high-quality development. At this stage, China's transformative manufacturing industry will play a positive role. High-quality development first needs to change its scale growth model to one based on quality and efficiency. On the one hand, China's manufacturing industry cannot achieve growth merely by resource consumption, but more importantly, by technological innovation. On the other, we should adhere to green and low-carbon development. The task of global environmental governance is arduous. China's economic growth must be based on energy conservation, carbon reduction, and environmental protection. For example, solar photovoltaic, wind power, and the new energy vehicle technology. The development of these industries not only promote economic development, but also bring energy conservation and environmental protection effects. In the past few years, China's solar photovoltaic industry has developed very quickly. At present, China's photovoltaic industry accounts for 90 percent of the global output. The development of China's photovoltaic industry has not only contributed to the high-quality growth of China's economy, but also made positive contributions to the global course of energy conservation and carbon reduction. Uh,